So one day I was at a gathering and most of the people at the gathering, I knew most of them, but I saw this one guy that I didn't know. And he was noticeable and I'll tell you why, but he was a strong guy, fit, tall, good looking guy, colored eyes, noticeable, right? But this is what made him stand out more. Every 10, 15 seconds, he began to do this. Uh, like this very strong, noticeable tick and twitch. Every 10, 15 seconds, imagine that. So I'm watching him talk to my friend and it's beginning to bother me. I'm really beginning to feel bad and have compassion for him because I I'm, I'm imagining. Imagine this guy, this young guy living through life like that. From what I see right here, every 10, 15 seconds, he's doing this, right? So I began to imagine his life, going to the grocery store, going to school, going to work, going to family functions, walking down the street, where every 10, 15 seconds, you can't help it but do this. I began to really have compassion for him. I began to kind of get bothered imagining him living a life that way. So I walked over there and I had my friend introduce me because I really wanted to know what was going on with him. So I said, hey, who is this? And we introduced, hey, I'm Richard. And he introduces himself and we begin to talk. And then 10, 15 seconds later, what happens? He does this. And, and when he does this, he doesn't have long hair. Okay, he's just, he's just doing that. Now, I begin to ask him right away because I, I, that's what I go for, right? As soon as he does that, I say, hey, why do you do that? And my friend that was already there talking to him is like, it kind of gets kind of uncomfortable because I just call it out. I just said, hey, why are you doing that? And this, this young guy kind of goes back and says, well, I, I actually don't know. I don't, I don't know why I do this. And I went to specialists, I've gone to doctors and they're, they're not sure how to fix it either. But what they offer me is medicine and I've taken that medicine and all it does, it makes me feel disconnected. It makes me feel numb. And it doesn't really take it away all the way. So I don't want to be on that medicine. So I had to learn how to just live with this. And he's talking to me. Right? Sad. Hurt my heart. So I began to ask more questions because this is something that I um, have an expertise in. See, for the last 17 years in over 25 nations, I have been developing leaders, people, government, arts and entertainment, education, business, family, and religion, helping people to transform from the inside out, whether it's a Twitch, whether it's building a business, whether it's restoring a relationship, whether it's bettering their health, whatever, whatever they want to change, whatever they want to better, but doing it from the roots, doing it from the root system. So I began to ask this guy some questions like, OK, you don't know why this is happening. You don't know how to fix it so far. You went to these specialists. So let me ask you some more questions. When did this start? And it began to share with me. We began to have this conversation that probably went about an hour, hour and a half. And again, every 10, 15 seconds, he's doing this, but I'm getting information out. And I began to discover that he had a life that hurt him. You know, 11, 12 years old, he was molested. He had some abuse in his family. He, he, had, he was bullied. He had different things going on. That he had some things going on in his past that really wounded him in his soul. It fractured him in his soul. It made him feel not good enough. It made him feel less than. It messed up his self-esteem, his self-confidence. And all these things that have happened in his past caused him to create this defense mechanism. He created this twitch to keep people away, to make himself feel safe. You see, after asking himself, you see, after asking him a bunch of questions, I began to connect the dots and understand that this twitch, this tick, was something that he actually developed to protect himself. You see, if he does this, people are gonna kinda not know what to do with that, so it's gonna create a distance from me and you, which is gonna make me feel safer. You understand? You see, he was hurt so many different ways that he subconsciously created a defense mechanism to protect him from getting hurt like that again. And that defense mechanism was for him to begin to twitch and tick because it keeps people away. Now he's safe. He didn't know he was doing this. This was a subconscious thing that his brain created that he began to accept and, and had that become a part of his lifestyle and it became a part of who he was. So after I began to connect all these dots, I helped him to overcome these things. All these things that he was sharing with me crying, I began to help him to go through this process of healing by forgiving those people, by forgiving himself. 
by accepting the different situations, by working through what has happened in the past so that the past is no longer his prison. And as we went through that process, he began to get healing, he began to forgive, he began to release those things. And you know what happened to those twitches and ticks? They went away automatically. After we begin to deal with the root issues, you know, those, those defenses, those reactions were coming from somewhere else. And instead of trying to make him to stop from the outside in, I worked with those root things. And all of a sudden, miraculously, beautifully, his twitches and ticks go away 100%. So I want to encourage you with something. If you're dealing with something, if you if you feel like, you know what, maybe I'm broken. Maybe I have something in my life. Maybe I, I can never overcome this. Maybe I just have to learn how to live with this. No, don't learn how to live with it. Understand that that's coming from someone. So many of our habits and behaviors and patterns that are not healthy are coming from somewhere else. That's not the problem. It's a symptom of something else. And we need to get into the root system, the belief system, because your beliefs create your behaviors your behaviors come from your beliefs so you need to see what kind of limiting beliefs do you have about yourself about life about relationships about whatever whatever it is what things are you holding in from your past that you can begin to heal from so that your past doesn't become your prison face these things face the reality if there's anything in your soul that you need to overcome from your past don't ignore it don't take it to your grave don't be ashamed of it face it see it for what it is forgive those people who you need to be forgiven forgive yourself for doing those things don't beat yourself up anymore and begin to allow your body to heal allow your mind to heal your soul to heal all from dealing with those things from the roots the root system all because you're dealing with those things from the roots your your roots produce your fruits your results in your life if you want real change change from the inside out